back in diapers. Today I am accompanied by my cat who decided to uh, join join with us today. And I also have a teddy bear from Crinkle Crate. Um, so yeah, we've got a little bit of company with us today. And um, also thought I would... Also we have uh, my Crinkle Crate Blanky from back in... I don't know, it's been a few months. <laughs> But those are here, and um, honestly, my cat has stolen all of these. Um, he loves this bear and the blanket, so they're kind of the cat's stuff. Anyway, let's get to the point of this video today, you guys. Today, we are going to teach. I am going to teach you how to modify a pacifier. So we're going to take either um, we're going to take an adult size nipple and put it into this ma'am mouth guard. Now the nipple's already out because I've been practicing this uh, so I could record it for you guys, but I thought I would explain to you how to do it. Um, and the reason we're modifying this one, this I actually got at my crinkle crate. Um, I did get it with this teddy bear. So um, I have a problem with mouth guards kind of like this just because of the way my mouth is shaped. They push on the connection between your gum and your teeth as on the top and bottom and I'm not too fond of that. Um, at all. So see he's moving on to his blanket and he's gonna need it for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take this pacifier nipple and put it onto this one. So taking this pacifier apart is super easy. Taking these apart has become super easy. It does take a little bit of practice but you'll get it down really well. And what you're going to need for this video today is the pacifier that you want to mod into the other pacifier. And I've tried this with a couple of different um, mouthpieces. Nuck makes a, it's the Nuck Breeze or something like that. It's kind of this shape, um, but the way the button is, it makes it extremely hard to modify. So I'm going to stick with my favorite, the MAM. And this one is, uh, I believe, 16 to 18 month or 6 to 18 month. Um, the nipple is just a little bit smaller than the other ones. Um, but the mouth size is almost exactly similar. So we're going to use this one today. So to take this one apart, or I'm sorry, you're also going to need a screwdriver. Um, and it actually works best when you have like the rounded tip because it's not going to poke through or anything like that. So it causes the least amount of damage. And I'm glad I found this because it worked fantastically. All right, so we're going to take this one apart first. So what you do first is you take off the handle, and it's super easy to do. You just pop it out one side, pop it out the other. Then we're going to go ahead and take off the button. And that's really easy to do. It just pulls off. And then you can see we have the nipple inside. And what we're going to do is just squeeze it and pull it out. And then we've got the whole mouth guard and now we've got the nipple apart. here, and we're going to go ahead and set that aside for now. We're going to take our screwdriver and our pacifier that we're going to want to modify. Now, I don't think it makes a difference whether or not this pacifier has the nipple in it. At least for me, it didn't. But what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take it and kind of hold it like this. Have it have a nice rest in your palm. Make sure you've got a good grip on it. Just so long as you have a good grip, that's all you need. You're going to take the screwdriver, and as you can see here, there's a little bit of a lip here. And you're going to want to take the screwdriver, put it underneath that lip, do not poke through it, and just give it some upward pressure. And it pops off really easy. Um, the first time through, it's a little bit harder, but the second time through, it's not very hard at all. And you just want to be careful not to bend the, the button too much. You will get a little bit of marks, but it shouldn't be too bad at all. So here it is taken apart. So now we've got all three components of the pacifier that we need. And next thing we're going to do is make sure we have this um, the pacifier upright. I've noticed that they put the MAM on the top, which is fine. Um, it, it just make sure your MAM is written on the top. Um, I kind of tend to prefer it on the bottom because my bottom lip is not quite as sensitive, I guess. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the this end of the nipple here, and you're going to kind of have to squeeze it into the hole. It's going to take a little bit of working, especially when you're using this type of nipple. I do have another one, which I'll go grab it and show you guys after I finish this mod on this pacifier. But this one is a not really see-through. It is silicone, but it's um, an 
basically opaque so you can't really see through it at all so you're going to take it and insert it into the the hole in the mouth guard and like i said it does take a bit of working you kind of got to push and pull a lot and i don't have my long fingernails right now so it's not that easy but once you can get it in there and get your finger in there you can pull it through pretty easy push it through just make sure that you don't put any holes in it so if you do have really sharp fingernails make sure you're being really careful all right and these ones are these thick these uh, opaque pacifiers are definitely a little sturdier than um, some of the other ones but now you can see I've got it here I've pulled it through what we're gonna want to do next is make sure we pull that in tight and this one does tend to buckle um, just because the, the nipple is so big and it is a little bit stiffer but we'll get that to fix here but just by working it it's kind of gonna buckle until you get the the button back on but you just work it till the buckles are out pulling it nice and tight and then it as you can see there's no more buckles in that so the pacifier itself is nice and stuck together there it is and now we're ready to modify you want to make sure that the nipple is not crooked um, and it it's not the easiest thing to do but with just the way everything sits in there it tends to tends to go into place pretty easily all right and a way to get those buckles out is to actually take it and pinch it from the sides and give it a little tug and it kind of pulls it out brings the air into the right spot and it is going to continue to buckle a little bit just just make sure you squeeze it from the side then what we want to do is take the button make sure you're getting it the right way up otherwise it's going to look kind of funny and you just maneuver it into that nipple really well making sure that you unpucker it as you go next what you're going to do is you're going to get it to click and it's going to be really easy it does well it takes a lot of force but it's going to be pretty easy to get so i'm going to try to show it to you here and i honestly use my knee because that's where i get a lot the best momentum on this thing so here it is i'm just going to bend the nipple out and we're going to go ahead and give it a push and i just got it to click on the top as you can see it's kind of crooked right now so it's clicked on the top and then we're going to get it you can you can even turn it around if you need to and then you just give it another push and it clicks into place and boom there you go you have your pacifier it is ready to go it is not at all damaged you didn't have to cut pull or anything like that so there you go it's all ready and now that i've got that uh that button on the nipple has ceased puckering so no more pucker it's all ready to go and use for nap time so i'm gonna grab the other one now all right everyone so i've got three different pacifiers here we've got a brand new one from crinkle crate a brand new one from baby pants and one that's about a year old so we're gonna from pop baby off pants. this one all right and we're gonna pop off the other one real quick um just to compare a little bit this one's much harder to pop off actually so Anyway, and once you got them off, these are actually interchangeable. All the MAM pacifiers are completely interchangeable. So if I wanted to, I could pop the little chick on here, or I could pop the little little uh, fish on that one. So it's, it's all interchangeable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out. I'm going to work with the older one just because I don't want to pull this one apart again right now. Um, but I just wanted to be able to compare... The, the nipple for you a little bit here so this one is a much thinner plastic it's much more flexible and it's a lot easier to work with um, and it's a clear one you can see that it's very see-through whereas the ba the crinkle crate one is very opaque but they are pretty much the same nipple the only difference is the side here is solid on this whereas this one is just all you know there's nothing solid in it um, I do kind of prefer this one because it does tend to um, be better with inflating and deflating but the neat thing about this one and we'll show it to you from this way is that it has this little ridge right here where the mouth guard rests on that so it makes it a little easier to modify so I'm gonna go ahead and re-modify this one for you so you can see 
This one is just super easy. Once it's through, you just make sure it's straight. It just takes a little bit of working. And there you go, it's all ready to modify. And this is what I wanted to show you, kind of the difference here. As you can see with this one, we've got some gaps on the bottom and on the top. So this one is not completely filling this hole up. Whereas with this one, there are absolutely no gaps there. It is completely full. Um, so it, th the difference in that is that this one does not uh, inflate and deflate as much as this one does. I prefer this one. All right. Let me get this on correctly here, and I'm going to go ahead and snap them back in. Now it's going to be tough for me. There we go. And then this one. Ta-da. All done. Ready to go. Boom. This one took a little more work, and I actually quit working on it for a second. All right. Here we go. There we go. That's all better. So there we go, you guys. An easy way to modify pacifiers. You just need the pacifier you want to modify and the pacifier that you're going to end up with. Ta-da. As you can see, I like blue and green. You also want to make sure you have a rounded, well, it's not really rounded, but you don't want a Phillips or a flathead or you'll end up breaking your pacifier. All right, you guys. There you go. All the pacifiers are modified and ready to use. And real quick, I'm going to show you my modified pacifier clip. So basically all you need to do is buy an actual pacifier clip and then you want to buy some ribbon. Mine is pink with a little heart. It doesn't really match my current pacifier, but it matches the old one. And it doesn't really matter to me. So you want to make sure um, that you have this one because it does go around the button really easy. Um, it also works with the... Um, handle style ones not particularly this one because it's bigger but the regular nut pacifiers and things like that these do work on you just got to slip it over the, the handle but um ta-da see ready to go so what I do is I basically I clip the pacifier where I want it and I measure about the length of the ribbon that I want and I use a sewing machine but you can use a hot glue gun or anything like that you can even use like a little snap or um uh, uh, anything that connects them together but just I just fold it over sew it same thing here you can make it so they detach but I really don't need to do that and there you go it's all ready Ta-da! <clears throat> alright guys so I know this video was a bit long-winded but it kind of takes a little bit of an explanation you know to do this but now you're ready to go ahead and modify your own pacifiers. So you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.